Alright, what is going on dudes? Do Sam6 here and welcome to a tutorial on the best NVIDIA control panel settings. So if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you know, 1060, 1070, 1080, 770, um, 980, whatever NVIDIA graphics card, right? You have the NVIDIA control panel, most likely if you have all the drivers and everything installed. So um, these are the best settings for the best performance on the, um, on, the, on the NVIDIA graphics card. So you gotta make sure you have it installed first. So if you click the Windows button, which is right here of course, and search NVIDIA control panel, it should pop up. Just no, just search NVIDIA, and the NVIDIA control panel should pop up. If not, you wanna make sure to download GeForce Experience from NVIDIA. This is, you know, up to your drivers, have Shadowplay and everything like that. I may even do tutorials on Shadowplay and stuff in the future, but um, this is NVIDIA GeForce Experience. It's, you gotta have it if you have a NVIDIA graphics card. So make sure to download that and it'll bring the NVIDIA control panel with it. So once you have that installed, you wanna, this link of course will be in the description. You wanna search NVIDIA and then the NVIDIA control panel will pop up. Just click enter or click it. And then this will pop up. Might take a few seconds to load, you know, it's all good. And you want to click on the left hand side here, adjust image with um, preview. So um, there are three options here. There's left 3D application aside, use an advanced 3D image setting, and use my reference, a preference emphasizing. You know, don't, don't click any of those, just click the middle one, then use the advanced 3D image setting. So click use advanced 3D image settings and click apply on the bottom right over here. And then you want to go to go to manage 3D settings right here. And here are the settings that just are the core of everything. So I'm going to read them out for you, and you can follow along. I'll also have all these things in the description below, so you can follow along. So ambient occlusion, turn that off. Antipostrophic filtering, make that application controlled. Anti-aliasing FXAA, turn that off. Anti-aliasing gamma correction, turn that on. Anti-aliasing mode, turn that to application controlled. Anti-aliasing transparency, turn that off. CUDA GPUs, make sure you have all, just make sure if you have SLI or anything, uh, select all of it, select what, 3, 4, 1, whatever, how many you have, just make sure they're all sh checked right here. Uh, DSR factors, turn that off. Maximum pre-runner frames, you want to make sure you have this to 1. Multi-frame um, sample AA or MFAA, turn that off. Multi-display slash mixed GPU acceleration. It depends on what type of monitor setup you have. So if you have one monitor, you're going to want to make this single display performance mode. If you have two, three, or f more than one monitor, so two and above, make sure not to do multi-display, but it's compatibility, so you still get a good performance on your main monitor. So change the compatibility performance mode. Um, power management mode, prefer maximum performance. Prefer to re refresh rate, uh, just application control, the highest available. It really depends on, like, they just this, that's up to you. Um, I'll change it to highest available for now. And um, sh shader cache on. Texture filtering, um, antistrophic sample optimization, turn that on. Texture filtering negative LOD bias, turn that allow. Texture filtering quality, make sure that's high performance. Texture filtering trillinear optimization, turn that on. Threaded optimization, make that auto. Triple buffering, make sure to turn that off. Same with vertical sync, which is really important here. Turn vertical sync off. You do not want vertical sync. And virtual reality pre render frames, you can just make that one. And then click apply. Your screen might flash, some things might happen, might take a while, give it a minute, and then, boom, that apply button will disappear, and you know everything's uh, been applied, and, you know, you'll start getting better graphics. But also, last but not least, you want to go to click Configure Style in Physics, change Auto Select right here, make that to the, your your um, your processor for the, for the physics settings, make it to your preferred graphics card, not your CPU, but your preferred graphics cards, which in this case is my GeForce GTX 770. Click Apply, and... Boom, you're good to go. Also, in managed 3D settings, if you have to happen a laptop or something that has a built-in graphics card um, from S Intel, and you have a built-in uh, dedicated graphics card, there will be an option right here asking you which one you would want to select. Make sure to select the NVIDIA one so you get the best performance. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this really helped uh, your games out and everything. That's been Do Same 6. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Alright, peace.